Watch out, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore your registry. Now, backing up and restoring your registry is really important, or backing up your registry is really important, because if you get corrupted registry, the system won't boot, you may need to format the system and lose all your stuff, okay? Well, it's just a load of headache if you've got to back everything up, then reformat and put everything back on. If you add backups to your registry, you can save yourself a lot of heartache. Now, with the malware, uh, as it is at the moment, you can actually get infected in the uh, system that corrupts all your registry and it will be a lot of aggro, so you might be best off backing it up anyway. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that with a free program called Regback. You can get it from here for free and it works with Windows 2000, uh, XP, 2003, Vista and Windows 7. 32-bit, uh, 64-bit operating systems. As you can see, it's a very small file, okay, 298 KB. So you can download that. I will put the link in the description. And uh, this is the actual company here that makes it. It works in a similar way to eRun back in the day. And eRun's had a little bit of a makeover with the new GUI interface as well. It's another good tool to back up your registry. I just wanted to show you this one. So let's have a little look at where Regback lives. Inside our Windows folder here, if we go down to System32 and then go down to our Config folder, this is where all the registry files are. As you can see, Default, SAM, Security, Software, and System. Okay, we're looking at this folder here called Regback. This is uh, full of registry files, and what they will do is these will be backed up every 10 days. Okay, it's not like the old Windows XP days where you just have when the system was built, then files would not be updated, they would just live there and backing up to those after say three years would be pointless because you'd have some really old registry. This would back them up uh, every 10 days and with this program we can actually access uh, loads and loads of backups that have been backed up. Okay. So how do we get these files to a backup where we need them, where we can get uh, access to them? Now you could get access to these uh, in a pre-installed environment or Linux Live CD, but I'm going to be using Regback as I said. So let's open this up. We've got two files here, okay? One called regback.exe and one regback.64.exe. Oh, now that's obviously for the 64-bit, if you're running 64-bit. This is a virtual box, so I'm going to be using the normal 32-bit here. Say yes to that. Close that back box off. And what it's trying to do here is create a folder called regback inside the Windows directory and it's going to put a date of a when it's backed up. Now you could change this location if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, we've got system backed up and also current user backed up. You can also other available hives if you wanted to. We've got an option down here for advanced. Now this can be changed to what you want it to. So this is do not delete any backups. That means it's just going to keep backing them up. And Also we've got uh, delete backups that are older than 30 days. You can change that to 20 days or wherever you want to there. Or you can delete all backups except the last 10. So as you can see, this is how that's going to be backed up. And also we've got overwrite existing backups in the backup folder. And here we can change where it, uh, by default where it's going to be system root, reg back and date. That's where it's going to be backed up too. Okay, so if you had another preference, you could actually change that in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and back it up now. So to go next, and as you can see, it wants to create this folder and this and this um, uh, backup. So I'm going to say yes to that, and I'm going to start, and it's still going to start to make its backup process there. That's all done. As you can see, finished successfully. So I'm going to close this off now, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to where they've backed it up to, Windows. Inside Windows, there's a folder here now called Regback. There should be. There it is. Inside there, we've got our dated folder, and there we have all our registry files backed up. This is going to be a real lifesaver, I guarantee it, if you've been infected or you've got some sort of uh, malware issues or corrupted registry through some sort of messing around in the registry. We can now access this file. I can click on this file if I wanted to, but what happens if the system doesn't boot and uh, we want to access this? Well, that's why we can either use a pre-installed environment or we can use command prompt. You can actually access these files through command prompt and run them from there. Okay, so let's uh, do that now. 
So I'm going to reboot the system into our recovery console and access those files from there. Okay. So I'm going to restart the system. Put our bootable CD in of our Windows disk. Okay, so what we want to do here is push the key on the keyboard to boot to our CD. Okay. Now what you've got to do here is go into the BIOS and you may need to change the boot order there to boot to CD so it will load up the CD. Now I've got the Windows CD in here or you can have a recovery CD. All you need to do is get to the command prompt inside the tools there. You can also use MS Dart or ERD command or something like that to use their sort of command prompt. Okay, so we let this load in. Now assuming that uh, Windows won't boot because you have a corrupt registry and you may be getting a message on the screen saying that you have a corrupt registry, then this method will be good for you. Okay, what we want to do here is I just want to go next here and I want to go to repair your computer down here. This will just uh, search for Windows installations. And uh, I'm going to go next here because we've got my uh, D drive there as you can see, local drive. Go next. And what we want is the command prompt. So I'm going to go there. And what we need to do here is uh, change directory. We don't for push the right uh, key. Okay, so what we need to do is change directory to our Windows drive. Okay, just make sure we've got files in there. Oh, we have good. Okay, so we're in the, the right area. So I also want to change directory to regback. Okay, like so. Now we're in the regback. Now we can do dir again just to see that folder. Now you can see the folder it's created. Now what I'd suggest you do is if you've got loads of these folders, you just select the one that you want to actually enter. Okay, so we're going to do change directory to that folder again. And we're going to go 09 dash 20. Okay, enter that. If I do DIR now, you can see the files in there that we want to access. Okay, now I want to access this executable file here. So what I want to do is uh, just type reg res dot exe like so push enter and it will now give us this box that's popped up and then we go next show the progress go start go next finished So what was uh, missing out there? We've got a failed NT user and NT user dot that. Okay, so the main files, which are the config file, the SAM file, the security file, which is the ones we wanted, have actually gone across. The only two files that didn't go across was the uh, NT user dot that. So I'm going to close that off now. I'm going to exit this. I'm going to restart. Okay, so we're just going to boot up normally here. It's loading. And there we go. That's how you back up your registry and also restore your registry. So the registry is now being restored and we're back to the way it was. Okay, everything's been fixed. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button, show your support. And also, if you like my videos, please remember, rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. Okay? So I'll be seeing you again soon. We're making some more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.